In this session, you will place footings under the columns placed in the previous session. You will first place a concrete pier under the column and then a concrete spread footing. Select the Structural tab on the ribbon. From the Structural Elements group, select the Concrete Column tool. The Property dialog opens. Change the Catalog Type to Foundation Concrete Pier. Select the Catalog Item Pier Rectangular. Select a section name. Go to the Parametric tab to create a custom size. Set the class to Rectangle and create a rectangular section that is 2 feet by 2 feet or 600 millimeters by 600 millimeters. Now let's set a few data group properties before we place the pier. Set the family and part to Foundation Footings. Create a type ID for the pier. Make it P1. You may now want to save these changes as a new catalog item within your dataset so that you can easily select it again. From the dialog pull-down, select Save Catalog Item As. Name it P1 Concrete Pier and select OK. This new catalog item is saved to your project workset and will only be available when placing peers in this workset. On the Placement ribbon, set the placement to Middle Center or the Centroid. Set the rotation to zero. Set the Place By method to Length at N2. Set the length to 4 feet or 1200 millimeters. You will now want to snap to the bottom of the columns. To easily snap to the ends of the structural members, you want to make sure that the default snap is key point and that the structural snaps are toggled on. This is the snap toggle on the lower left of the interface. Then select the column at A1, snapping to the bottom of the column. You should see the structural snap icon. The pier will be placed extending 4 feet or 1200 millimeters below the column. With the Place Column dialog still open, you can now create the spread footing. Change the section name. Go to the Parametric tab to create a custom size. Set the class to Rectangle. Type in a width of 5 feet or 1500 millimeters and a depth or length of 6 feet or 2 meters. Change the Type ID to F1. From the pull-down, select Save Catalog Item As. Name it F1 spread footing, and select OK. This is now the selected column. On the placement ribbon, set the placement to middle center or centroid. The rotation to interactive. This allows you to set the rotation as you place the footing. This time you will want to toggle off the ACS plane and ACS plane snap lock so that the footing is not placed on the ground floor ACS plane but at the bottom of the pier. Set the place by method to length at N2 and set the length to one foot six or 500 millimeters. Select the pier just placed at A1, snapping to the bottom of the pier. Data point again to set the rotation for the spread footing. The spread footing will be placed extending one foot six or 500 millimeters below the pier. Close the place column dialog. It is now a simple task to select the pier and the spread footing and copy it to each of the steel columns. In this session, you have learned how to create and place a concrete pier and spread footing using the concrete column tool. In the next session, you will place beams. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.